All right. To the geniuses. Now, um, Gemini's. Gemini's. Okay. Uh, now, right now, just a, and a lot of activity, Gemini suns and risings, a lot of activity dealing with, um, it don't matter what planets is, is in your, is a lot of planets in the house. And especially in your sign, you know, in your first house and in your sun sign or whatnot, you're going to be dealing with a lot of different things, a lot of things moving, shifting around in your personal life. It don't matter what those planets is, it's just a lot of energy, a lot of circumstances there. A lot of concentration right now is around your values, the things that you're clinging on to, the things that you're pouring into, your very relationship oriented in general. So, you know, we're learning how to jump into your vibe right now. We're learning how to be a little bit more flexible, dealing with partnerships and not just partnerships, but other people's mentalities about different things, changing our own mentalities about things so you know right now you want to continue to be the example for that we already know how big jupiter getting in your sign is shout out to all the air dominance jupiter is big for the air dominance in general a lot of earth or earth dominance just expanded different things in their life with jupiter transiting taurus So uh, now the air signs turn. Gemini, uh, Gemini, you leading the way. Yeah, Gemini is a little. Uh, Jupiter is a little sticky here, but for the most part, there's a lot of exaltation to be going on. You know, I use exaltation in the holy uh, definition more than the astrological way. So a lot of exaltation to go on right now for the things Gemini dominance is experienced with. And this may be a familiar habit. This may be a familiar trait. This may be something you do in your sleep, but Jupiter is here. So it may be an environment and maybe opportunity that expands in this space for you to be able to be exalted for that, be able to be seen for that. And right now with this new moon energy, especially in that regal, tap, tapping into that regal constellation that at 16 degrees, you know, uh, you're really, you really want to be intentional about how you're honing in and what this is, this thing that you value and making sure anything else in your life that is not of value is not playing out as a distraction. You know, when it comes into creative processes, not playing out as a distraction, when it comes into, uh, things, you know, you want to, pour into in some type of shape or form now gemini you are mutable air so you do consider the thoughts of a lot of others a lot you consider the thoughts of other people make sure that doesn't uh you know deter you from anything that you know you're really passionate about something that been on the spirit been on the subconscious in some type of shape or form all right so make sure uh make sure that's going on around this time because on the daily, you're dealing with a lot of different thoughts uh, being thrown at you, not just you, like external thoughts thrown at you, whether people seeking advice, people giving, critiquing you about certain things in different type of shape or form, trying to extend some type of information to you. So right now, a lot of that is going to be going on about love matters and your values. Maybe a lot of different critique coming at you right now about the person you dating, a lot of different critique coming from your, the person you dating in some type of shape or form, something that people know that your heart is in, that you're trying to grow. Uh, you may be gaining a lot of eyes around that around this time. So that's really good. Stay intentional and concentrated on what you're creating and building well, for the most part. With the, the, Allow yourself to go through the motions of different forms of feedback. All right. You're one of the signs that get critiqued a lot, just being a Mercury sign. All right. That's why we drag Gemini's a lot. We drag, we drag y'all a lot in general. Right. It's just uh, it comes with the Mercury territory. All right. So uh, these are things you just want to be aware about right now. Um, people are very aware and very in tune with your actions right now, with your actions and your behavior, Gemini. You cannot get away with things right now. People are going to be bringing up things you say around this time later in the phase of the year, later in the Jupiter and Gemini phase. So you're really on the stage right now. So you want to manipulate this energy for things you know you could be able to give life, you know, some sense of life and vitality so once again something that dealing with aspiration something you want to see change within your personal life just that know that saturn energy is going to be applied it has to be applied to the first house into your uh actions so there's going to be a lot of blueprint energy that's going to have to be established around this time once again anything that feels like a restriction in your personal life around this time is very significant because that's something that might be holding back new moon opportunities things that should be in the first house already things that you should be on personally already so that's not nothing to take lightly at all especially if you're trying to participate into something right you're trying to connect with somebody in some type of shape or form and you're feeling resistance, that may be something that's not in favor of where you're supposed to be heading right now, Gemini. 
All right. So hopefully those couple of things help you all navigate this energy. Once again, Saturn is the only thing bringing friction in this area. So what's that? Saturn is in your own. Tenth. Saturn is in your tenth. Um, so. Uh, Saturn uh, is on the, is in the tenth house. So, you know. Gemini, you, you always got opportunity to be exalted for your knowledge in some type of shape or form in career, you know. And now you've been most likely project building around that. So uh, I think this is a huge opportunity for you to embrace being seen for these things that you may be placing a lot of time into building instruction in your 10th house already. It may be some new things to regulate in career right now that you need to be uh, proactive about. You need to be expressive about. You need to make sure if you feel like the universe is trying to make you pay attention to a certain way of navigating career, certain something dealing with project build, building. Remember, Mercury, critical analysis, seeing different details to things that's affecting business branding right now. Those are all things that's trying to gain your awareness. All right. So that's what we got going on in Gemini now. Our hot seat signs, hot seat signs, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces.